There was a uh, <clears throat> a Missouri woman. Mm. Is it Missouri? Missouri? What kind of tragedy you're gonna tell us? <laughs> you're asking now at this age. A Missouri woman. <laughs> Is it wool man? <laughs> cheap property, cheap property if you're looking. Wool man. Missouri. Whoa. Uh, a Missouri woman was awarded a $5.2 million settlement Damn. against her ex-boyfriend's car insurance company, Geico. After she claimed that she got a sexually transmitted disease from him after they had sex in his 2014 Hyundai Genesis and she won! Wow. That's dope. Wow. Does that have to do? The insurance company's paying for that shit? Geico has to pay $5.2 million. Like, what's the reasoning behind it? I don't know. <laughs> wow. That's insane. America, land of opportunity and dreams. Also, Things like, don't make sense, yo. What the fuck? Do STD is? Is it like something like curable? Chlamydia. Like chlamydia? Mono? I have no yeah, idea. Exactly. So, so uh, imagine getting a fucking blowjob, like roadhead, and then you can sue the insurance company. Isn't that sick? So on Tuesday, after five years of uncertainty, the Missouri Court of Appeals affirmed that Geico General Insurance Company must make the massive payout to the Jackson County woman in this unprecedented case. A three-judge panel found that the judgment entered against the insurance giant through earlier arbitration proceedings was valid. Court papers obtained by the Daily Mail revealed that, that the woman notified Geico in February 2021, stating that she and the insured had been in a romantic relationship since 2017. The woman told the insurance company her intention to seek monetary damages, alleging she contracted HPV, the human papillomavirus, papillomavirus, Papilloma. from an what insured member HPV? in his automobile. Do you believe all women? Yeah. Court documents reveal that in the suit, I slipped for a second. That was a really good plug for that. Oh, dude. Yeah, you did. You did. Sleep. We are caught. Court documents <laughs> reveal that in the suit, the woman alleged that her ex-boyfriend had been told that he had throat cancer tumor and was diagnosed with HPV, yet he continued to have unprotected sex with her knowing the risks. What the fuck? I still don't know how this has to do with that. That sounds like that Catherine Zeta-Jones thing where she, uh, who's her husband? You mean the entrapment? <laughs> the entrapment? <laughs> Who is her husband? I don't, I don't know. know. Her husband, I forgot his name, he's a famous actor as well. He came Antonio out and said that, like, I think that, that's him. Is it Michael Douglas? Yo, no, yeah, no, it is Michael, Michael Douglas. Douglas. Michael I think Douglas. he came out and said that he got like throat cancer from eating her out. <laughs> Oh, for real? Yeah. I heard that's a pretty common thing. Like, yeah. you get throat cancer from oh, eating too much of, pussy. Oh, because of the net, like, HPV? I don't know. I don't know exactly the science. Should I stop, yo, should I stop eating pussy? Yeah, <laughs> well, she, in this one, she's yeah, claiming that she got follow. the STD yeah. because he ate her out, or in the course, and he has a mm -hmm. throat cancer. Right? So she, he gave it to her. So he was being generous, but he was a little too generous and gave her more. <laughs> well, <laughs> technically, so so it says in May 2021, the arbitrator found that the man and woman had sex inside his vehicle that directly caused or directly contributed to cause the HPV infection. Why? It's and the ex-boyfriend was found liable for not disclosing his infection status, and the woman oh. was awarded the 5.2 million for damages. Was done in the car? To be paid by Geico. Because the car is wow. supposed to be protection. Yeah. Of the insured. Yeah. He's the insured. It's like what? him via his car got into an accident with her and she got an STD from the accident. It'd be like that, I guess. Dude, Geico might kill this guy. You can f yeah, fucking yeah, do yeah. Dude, they should kill this guy. Legit. This is the yeah, first probably the case Geico of that. so fucked. They're just like, fuck. They're like, dude. everyone has HPV, everyone has car. We're fucked. This, this, is, what what yeah. uh, this is what the attorney said. This is what the attorney said. Why don't you tell her? If, quote unquote, HPV. if you think about it as an injury sustained while in that person's vehicle, then it totally falls within what an insurance company would be required to pay. Whoa. It's an injury Whoa. sustained in his vehicle. What a fucking also, discovery. What did he have? Did he have full coverage? General coverage. General Genital wow. coverage. Genital coverage? Wow. Do you think the jury Genital is coverage. just a bunch of guilty fucking ass Catholics? And they're like, whoa, they're fucking in vehicles? That's weird, huh? Weird, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Or they're all like, it's wait, like, if we all deliberate guilty, we could cash in on this afterwards. Yep. They're all, everybody's got an HPV from a car exactly. sex encounter, right? <laughs> Does everyone have Geico? One lady's like, uh, I haven't had sex, but I, I love to rub my pussy in my car. <laughs> I actually I think I have be. Geico. Holy shit, I can't, I can't believe that's a, what a cool ass thing to find out. In America, out. everything happens one time. Everything yeah, can happen. And then after that, the contract changes, gets yeah. changed. Yeah. 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 And then the contract says like, uh, amendment X I I I I. No sexual favors yeah. in cars. STDs will not be considered an insurance claim. Like you're born with it, right? Sometimes. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know, um, but I heard that it's so common. Like it's like one out of yeah, four people or some shit. Because it doesn't yeah. always cause like uh, problems. Yeah. Right. Sometimes it's just in you. Yeah. So sometimes it has to do with like a, a type of cancer that can develop, but otherwise. Yeah. It's like <laughs> it causes ovarian cancer in some way. Yeah. I yeah, think yeah. HPV it doesn't really show symptoms in men, but it does in women. Mm. I think that's where. But men pass it. But it's right? the most common one yeah. that ever people yeah. carry. Oh, yeah, right? probably riddled with it. Yeah, human papillopia <laughs> virus. Everyone deserves five point two million dollars in. I'm, I'm telling you, ninety five percent papilloma. <laughs> that's a long way. Human papilloma. Three percent human. <laughs> Your body's sixty percent water. Other parts papilloma. <laughs> human papilloma virus. More quotes from the attorney. Usually injuries to passengers are the result of a collision or slamming the door on one's fingers, that sort of thing. But while a lawsuit over contracting an STD from the insured driver may be the first of its kind, this award shows that it's not a stretch for someone to file against an insurance company for any actions occurring in a motor vehicle. This has got to get some of those injury lawyers like salivating. They're so yeah. hard, they dude. must be like, dude, can yeah, you imagine? Because there must be other things now besides, you know, just like sex injuries. Let's, let's think of some right now. Sex injuries? Yeah. What Emotional trauma. Oh yeah, from like, getting broken up car. with shitting in a car. That was like, that was like when, okay. we, when we're looking at that one fucking retreat uh, receipt where it's like a, a, a server adds a fucking fee for emotional like uh, damage or something, expenditure or whatever yeah. the fuck. You yeah. exhausted oh, yeah, because you cried yeah. at a fucking thing. It's like oh, you made me like work harder than normal, so you mm -hmm. should be charged the service fee. Or like the other guy that we did an article on, where it's like he couldn't blame. Or somebody ki got killed in the car maintenance area or something like that. So yes. they were yeah. suing the car oh, owner. Yeah, dude. That's yeah. Or dude, like, hey, my wife, you know, she was doing her makeup at night while I was fucking driving. And like that little light came on and I fucking freaked out. The whole car turned over. There's all kinds of arguments yeah. you can make. What dude. if you're just riding in the car with someone and they said something racist to you? And then you're like, oh. I'm gonna sue Geico for that. I'm suing Geico. Geico's racist. That's good. <laughs> yeah. That's Geico good. insures racists. <laughs> Emotional damage. Yeah. You're doing a drug deal, <laughs> you you you, and then you got shot in the car because of the drug deal that you did. The deal went Geico. bad. Yeah. <laughs> what about, Geico. <laughs> what about all like the domestic violence bad, cases that happens in cars? Like, can Rihanna just sue Chris Brown for like beating his her beating her ass in the car specifically? Oh, it's just a lawsuit. That's Statue true. Statute limitations probably ran up on that specific case, so you could probably. But can she sue Home Depot for providing the stairs that he threw her down? Like they were. They fought at Home Depot. No, they fought. <laughs> <laughs> Home Depot doesn't even have a second story. The, story, yo, yeah, the one in, in every aisle, they got that little fucking orange stair thing. Yeah. You walk to that oh, story. <laughs> He's like, let me show you something at the top, and then shoved her. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Oh. He shoved her down. They the had a fist fight at Home Depot. He was trying to get a new hammer. That's it. Did he push her downstairs? He shoved her right down the stairs. Yeah, steel, steel stairs. <laughs> And, 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 and it's fucked up. He shoved it down three flights, so he kept on having to roll it. And it was three flights of spiral stairs, dude. Yeah, yeah, he kept on having to, he kept on having to go like, down to the spiral yeah. stairs. Landing, and he kept on like. Yeah. And then like she like hit the wall because one of those like dumb. Yeah, you he know how it is. Moved her over. Spiral yeah. stairs. But let's be honest. He has made some sick music since. I know. <laughs> really good Bob. Did he sample the sounds from the stairs too. Mm, yeah, I that think so. Nice and uh, sh uh, she's not you. She ain't you. That's Part very that, innovative. Yeah. It's very Kanye. Wait, again. did it? He just get you got in trouble head. for beating up another girl? No yeah, way, Joe. Okay. Wait, that was in the past, Joe. No way. I don't believe <laughs> like it. Like a couple months ago? No, yes, no. but like it doesn't matter because when you I make sick music, you can beat up anybody. Yeah, you're fine. Only in hip hop. Because yeah. he was just making hard. those beats. If you don't beat up women, oh, yeah. you're not hip hop. That's what it is, right? <laughs> oh, shit. I feel like it's not. R&B unless you beat women. I feel like there are- No, that's peeing on, on people. That's yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. Hip hop. By the way, those women knew and they could have worn raincoats, but they didn't. <laughs> she could have brought her umbrella. Everyone, eh, eh. No, that's <laughs> Everyone knew. <laughs> Everyone. I saw the videos when I was in high school. You did? Isn't that illegal? Cause those, well, I was illegal. <laughs> okay, that's that's a good point. And that's right. what I'm saying. And, yes. and, yes. and everyone knows everyone knew about Chris. I was underage. <laughs> yeah. Everyone exactly. knew about Chris Brown. So if Chris Brown's current most girlfriend isn't waking up putting on fucking football pads, that's, that's on true. her. I will say though, Chris Brown pre beating, his music was fire. Absolutely fire. Yeah. It's fire. Yeah. I don't know if the beating had like actual correlation to my emotional status on his music. But man, his beats were fucking sick. Do you think you could respect the artist? Not his like beating beats, but like his mm -hmm. like uh, song beats. Or his heart beats? 